Data documents play a central role in recording, presenting, and disseminating data, and have become an indispensable component of almost every domain that involves data, such as finance, business, public health, and education. Although there are many programs that one can use to analyze data and write data documents, the process of authoring data documents requires numerous tedious, repetitive, and error-prone operations, such as switching back and forth between data processing and writing tools, calculating values, exploring different data presentations, ensuring consistency between the text and the data, and frequently updating tables and charts to synchronize them with the text. Instead of tackling these issues separately, our research attributes them to a lack of explicit connections between text and data. Because commercial tools do not establish and maintain text data connections, users are required to maintain these connections in their mind and must resort to complex workflows to accomplish their goals. To solve this problem, we developed CrossData, a software prototype that treats text data connections as persistent, interactive, first-class objects. By automatically identifying, establishing, and leveraging text data connections, CrossData provides opportunities for richer interactions while authoring data documents. To explain how CrossData facilitates data document writing, we're going to follow Jane, a hypothetical World Health Organization staff member who needs to write a short report about the latest data on the global COVID situation. After exploring the newest weekly data in Excel, Jane creates a table that summarizes the new cases reported by different regions and a stacked bar chart that visualizes the new case trends in different regions. She plans to report some insights based on the table and the chart. Jane first inserts the table into her document, and then she starts to report on the new cases in Europe. While she is typing, CrossData automatically retrieves and suggests data attributes, such as new cases and new deaths for her. Meanwhile, CrossData highlights the table to help her identify which data the suggestion connects to. Jane presses the tab key to accept the suggestion of new cases. Crossdata adds the suggestion to the document and creates a connection between the phrase new cases and the underlying data. Jane continues typing. Based on Jane's writing, Crossdata automatically retrieves the number of cases reported from Europe for her. Here, Crossdata highlights the phrases in the sentence with different colors, since they are connected to the underlying data differently. The first two phrases, which are independent phrases, connect to the data independently. The last phrase connects to the data with the constraints of the first two phrases, and is thus a dependent phrase. Next, Jane wants to report the total number of new cases this week. When she types, the total new cases reported this week is... Crossdata automatically detects operators such as total and week and highlights them in blue. Using data in the table, Crossdata interprets the sentence and calculates the total number across all regions for her. Crossdata also adds a new row to help Jane synchronize the table with the text. This saves Jane from switching between applications to refine the table. Jane thinks this new row is useful and accepts it. Jane then begins to write about the ratio of new cases in Europe to the total number of cases worldwide. While the information is not yet detailed enough for Crossdata to calculate a value, Jane can insert a ratio placeholder into the sentence. As Jane completes the sentence and more detail about her intention is available, Crossdata automatically fills the placeholder with the actual value. Simultaneously, Crossdata computes the ratio for each data item in the table and adds a new column to the table, synchronizing the table with the text. Next, Jane begins writing about the region in the world with the highest number of new cases. Crossdata retrieves the region from the data for her and sorts the table to make it easier to read. Based on the returned data, Jane realizes that Southeast Asia reported the highest number of new cases this week so she changes her mind and wants to report on Southeast Asia first instead of Europe. To do this, she clicks on each instance of Europe in the sentences. As she does this, Crossdata displays a drop-down list that contains other regions in the dataset. Jane then selects Southeast Asia. Crossdata updates the number of new cases as well as the ratio for her to maintain data consistency. At this moment, Jane receives an email notifying her that the number of new cases in Southeast Asia was overestimated by half a million. 
To incorporate this into her document, Jane changes the new cases of the Southeast Asia region. Crossdata then updates all related sentences in her document accordingly, such as the number of new cases, the ratio, and the region that reports the highest number of new cases. Because Crossdata did this for her automatically, Jane does not need to manually go through her document to change the text. Finally, Jane inserts a stacked bar chart of all regions from Excel into her document to begin reporting on the weekly trends in new cases. As she describes new cases from Southeast Asia, Crossdata automatically highlights the corresponding part of Southeast Asia in the bar chart, aggregates the data from daily to weekly, and highlights the corresponding range in the chart. Jane can directly manipulate the range to select the desired time frame, and Crossdata will update the connected text accordingly. Jane then continues to report the COVID-19 situation in other regions by reusing the existing text. In summary, by leveraging the text data connections, Crossdata provides novel interactions that free users from tedious, repetitive, and error-prone operations significantly reducing the manual effort required while writing data documents.